Okay, this is gonna be a video on replacing the band switch coupler on a TS830S. And uh, these, uh, these couplers, the brass uh, replacement uh, where I bought this was k4eaa.com, kilo4echoalphaalpha.com. Um, they have uh, really nice brass couplers. And what you're essentially replacing is this, this unit. This, this is what is on the Kenwood band switch. And it's, it's just plastic. It's going to fail. It's, it's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. And this had cracks in it. it, hadn't completely failed. So I don't know why Ken would use something like that. It was cheap, but because this radio, other than that, is just built like a tank. So clearly, first things you're going to do is you're going to remove the top and bottom covers of the radio. Then you're going to, uh, you know, take off the plate to the RF section. Take that off. And then you are going to make sure you are safe. Um, and here's what I use. I use a, a discharge cable. This essentially clips on to ground. And then I take the probe. And you're going to, you know, you're going to touch it to the high voltage areas. And I just actually just left it, left it there. Uh, I actually left it there for a half hour. I... Um, I would go around and just touch various areas in here because there can be high voltage. After you've done this, you're going to want to use a voltmeter and just double check that there's no high voltage in this area because this is uh, something that can discharge and it can be very unpleasant and the worst case might even kill you. So that's what you're going to do. Um, then you're going to have to re remove the uh, one of the RF tubes, the um, 6146B or or uh, that's in there, you're going to remove this one on the left. That is then going to show you where this plastic coupler is. And you can see it's been replaced now with the, the brass one. It's going to be right there. So one of the most important things you're going to want to do, let's see if we can get this to, to uh, focus, is turn the band switch to 10 megahertz. You're gonna come over here. You're gonna turn that to 10. And then you're gonna to want to mark, what I did is I put on this shaft to the right, I put a zero, it kind of stood for 10. Anyway, put a marking there. Put a marking on this side, and you can see I put a little Sharpie marking right there on that side. These need to line up when you put this back. So put a marking there. There's going to be two sets of screws. One's going to be on 10. One's going to be on 1.5. There's the other one. So you're going to need to loosen those. This is on the old plastic. Loosen those super well. Okay. Then that is going to allow you to pull this shaft out of here. Now, there's a little wire here. It's right there. It goes across there. Pull that shaft out from the front. That wire is just going to drop down. It's kind of not going to go anywhere. Don't worry about it. It's just going to drop down. You're not going to be able to get this whole piece out because there's a coil right there in front of the unit. So here's how you do this. What you got to do is you got to take this thing and it's going to be together. It's going to be together like this. Let's see. You know, essentially take a screwdriver and you're going to put it in there and you're just going to twist. You're going to put it inside the other thing and twist and, and split that. It'll split fairly. You just turn, turn the switch a little bit, turn, and that thing is going to bust. It's going to bust in half. Okay, so at that point, you can then push half that section out through this hole here, and you can get it past the coil. Get that out, then you can 
push the other half a section out through the coil. So now you've got that removed. Then you can put this brass coupler on from the other side and it will slide in. You need to slide it on this shaft first. Just it's going to be a little, you know, a little tricky, but it's not difficult. Just just get your finger on that other side over here and slide that in and slide it on this coupler, okay? Make sure this is back to your zero. You're you know, you've got that face like that. Go ahead and tighten this set screw. Now you're going to push this back in. You're going to push that back in. You're going to lift this little wire here because you're going to have it out. That little wire against the thing, you're going to lift that, connect that to the other side and lift that up and then push that shaft in. And you're going to push it in here. And this is where you're going to want to make sure that where you marked on this side, you've got the mark and you've got this switch on 10. You gotta have that on 10. Then you can go ahead and tighten this set screw. Okay, so now you got both these nice and tight. Then you can turn the band switch. Let me see what we're doing here. You can turn the band switch back to 1.5 and then you got that set then you can tighten that set down and there you have it you will have a, a very nice uh, thing that will last for decades and uh, that will create a uh, correct a very vulnerable thing in this radio and uh, put your tube back in put it all back together and you're good to go